here, guys. I'll be the sample man, and I'm pretty sure we need to go to the heart bank. But well, let's go talk to Jeffrey. Oh, why don't you go to the heart bank? Go talk to the person over there. Mm, okay, I shall. Let's go do that. Oh my God, that pretty is wearing a helmet. Oh my God. Oh dear Lord, where is the heart bank girl? Where is the heart bank girl? That's the item worlder. Where is the heart bank girl? The heart bank girl. The heart bank girl. Where is the heart bank girl? There's the hospital. Oh, right there. Dur, 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 dur. Okay, there should be some more treasure chests here. Off screen, I got the other treasure chest for chapter six. Uh, this, this, I'm gonna go around and collect some more treasure chests. Get me off the thingy, Majig! Oh my God! All right. Where is some more treasure chests? I want more treasure chests! I like treasure! I like treasure! Oh man, treasure is good. Treasure is great. Treasure is me. Yeah, I see a treasure chest. Damn, I got like 100,000 hell. Heck yeah, man. All right, so we need to go to 6-1. Do you wish to enter the depths of your heart? Yes, I do. We're going to chapter six. And the evil mind vortex. Oh God. Um, princess? What is it, Almaz? Pardon my abruptness, but why did you remember me? That really was abrupt. I'm sorry. I've been curious since you told me. Uh, I had never actually met you. Huh? But, you see, you still consoled me. What do you mean? I told you that I can't cry, right? I'm an ungrateful princess who can't even shed a tear. I heard the rumors. Not a single tear during the funeral. She doesn't even cry in her own room. She's not tough, just cold-blooded. The princess has some nerve not crying for her mother, the queen. She's such an unlovable princess. That's terrible. It's easy to judge by looking at the surface, but it's not like they looked into your heart. How would they know you weren't really? But that's it. Huh? That night, I couldn't fall asleep, so... I was wandering around the castle and heard the argument from the barracks. A hero must answer the call of the voiceless voices. Lady Sapphire is alone in her sadness. The princess grieves in her own ways. Look at her hair, I heard. That time? You were listening? It, it was just a coincidence. I just happened to notice that a lock of your beautiful hair had been cut short. It's exactly as you said. I cut off a lock of hair and secretly placed it inside my mother's coffin. <laughs> she had always praised my hair, though afterwards my grandmother scolded me for it. The only ones who noticed the change in my hair were my father, grandmother, and you, Almas. That voice then, I've never forgotten. <laughs> Princess! Why are you crying? Are you going to cry for me? If it would make you happy. I'll cry for you as much as you want. So please, don't be sad anymore. You can ignore those heartless words. I'll make sure I erase them all. I will protect you for life. I, almost von Amandine Adamant, will die for you, Lady Sapphire. Almas, no, you can't. Huh? If you were to die, I would be greatly saddened. Uh, why is that? Hmm, I wonder why. I'm not exactly sure. What do you think? Don't ask me. I'm more confused about this than you are. Oh, my lady, watch this. Oh, it's a love scene like we read about in our study guides. Could it be possible they might do the high-level skill from the 48 expressions of affection? The kiss? Calm down, don't get too panicky. Kyoko, you go get the camera. Asuka, you prepare for the interviews. Um, do you mind not mocking us? Enemies? We are the subconscious. Defeat us and become very strong. But don't forget about that one time. Oh, that one time. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. So these are my subconsciences. If I get rid of them, I'll become stronger, right? But they're acting strange, afraid of something. It's as if they are milk bottles nearing expiration. So what? It doesn't matter. It's my subconscious. I wouldn't know anyway. Let the subconscious subside. There's no need to hesitate. <laughs> I will become stronger. Stronger than anyone. Stronger. All right. So here we go. This 
can be a brutal fight if you allow it to be. This is what is uh, pretty difficult. It's enemy level up 20%. Alright, and that is what could happen. These guys can get really high really fast. 10% is 3, so that's 6. So 6 levels per time. Alright, so we are going to immediately, and I mean immediately, be trying to get over towards uh, that, uh, this right here, and we're gonna try to get over there and throw that, alright? We need to make sure that we get, you know, pretty, pretty much over there really fast. Alright, so I want to move him right here when I'm done I think I think let's see hmm okay I think I know what I want to do I think I know what I want to do let's see one two three four five I could okay you don't even need to go there we're done bring out slim okay we're done bring out I think we'll bring out Laharl and we're done have him lift up Prince Laurel Coon. We're gonna throw Laharl over here. Alright. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this. I'm gonna try to get rid of this decently quick. Alright, that is my goal right now. Is to get rid of this and get it over there before those enemies start really leveling up. Alright, so there we go. Alright, now want to bring out three more characters. I'm going to bring out Mr. Champlu. I'm going to bring out Ailmaz. Alright, and then we'll bring out uh, Mao. And then what we'll do is I'm going to pick up Mao and we'll pick up Ailmaz. Alright, there we go. So we'll put, put him there. We'll throw him here. Alright. Now, I want to make sure that I can get some more uh, definite characters, you know, over this general direction. I want to have him be able to pick up Mao and have, yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, we're going to move him there. We're going to move Bubba over here. All right. Obviously, this is a lot of freaking preparation work to try to do this, obviously. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what I want to do, because he's already moved. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Mao pick up this Geo Block. We're gonna lift up Mao. We're gonna throw Mao right here. Then we'll have him throw this. It didn't get too far, but eh. I can still move him right next to it and toss it into it next time. Okay, now, quickly, we need to start lifting our characters and throwing them all over there. I want to get everyone over there that I can immediately. That is a big time goal of mine. I don't want uh, these enemies getting way too strong for their own good. That is a, another thing that needs to happen. Okay, now we're gonna lift Bubba. Uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna lift Bubba and we're gonna throw Bubba forward. All right. Oh. Okay. We'll move him there. Okay. End this turn. Those enemies over there are going to level up. Okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. They can cast as much ice at me as they want. Doesn't matter to me. Okay, they went up. So, obviously, I need to throw this geo block right here. Get rid of that. Now they fall down. There we go. Okay. So now I need to get rid of. Hmm. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift 1 to a gamer and throw him. Uh, bleh. Let's see. We'll throw him there. Okay. So now I need to get this geo block right here. 
and start moving that. So that's another thing that I need to have happen. Alright, so what I think I'm done do is I'm done pick up the group and start tossing them over here and then just try to get someone behind it and pick this geo block up and toss. Yeah, I think that's what I'm done do. Okay. So lift. Uh obviously snack, we're done lift. Uh Bubba, we're done lift. Um, no, actually, you know what, I think, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll lift them from this direction, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do, yeah, I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do, alright, you get thrown over here, then 128 camera will throw you here, then we'll throw them there, there we go, okay. There we are, and now we'll throw Snack here, we'll lift up, get out of here, Chloris, go away. Okay, now I think what I'll do is I'm going to probably, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll lift up Laharl, and we're throwing Laharl over here, and we're just, uh, murder this, uh, enemy right here. That is exactly what I'm done do. Sign our bitch! Alright. I don't want them getting too high, I don't want them getting up to level like like uh level 60 or something. I want them to be, you know, decently contained. You know? Alright, so obviously I can park Mao right there. And uh I'm gonna park Slim there. Uh move. Mr. Champloo over this general direction. We're done move 128 Gamer this way. We're done move Elmaz this way. Obviously, we need to move my healer and my star magician forward. Again, this is this is kind of scary, but not too scary if you don't allow it to be scary. Okay, that kind of hurt. That kind of hurt. I won't lie. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucked. Okay. So, Mr. Champloo, you are going to be my next... Okay. Mr. Champloo needs to lift this geoblock. We need to lift Mr. Champloo. We need to lift... Ma. Alright. I think what we'll do is... I'm gonna move... I'm gonna move Bubba over here and we'll lift... Snack. All right, there we go. Boom. Now we throw you guys here. All right, Mr. Champloo, throw this here. Perfect. We drop those idiots on their face. Okay. Now you need to go away, my friend. Goodbye, my friend. You're going to die. Yeah. Oh man. All right. Got to move these guys up. You know what? You know what? I think I'm gonna just. I think what I'm gonna do. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to lift up Elmans, and I'm gonna lift up Prince Laurelkin, and we're gonna try to throw them as far forward as possible. And uh, you know, I need to. I need to sort of uh, get you out. Of, get you out of dodge there, my friend. I need to get you out of there. Okay, so we need to lift up Hitomi. Hitomi's going over here. Hitomi is a uh, uh, mega heal snack because he took a ferocious shot that I did not expect. And we'll move Slim forward. Okay, everyone's moved forward. I need to move forward. I think I'm going to move him back. And I think we're in good shape. Okay, uh, 600, that could hurt, this could hurt, this could hurt, and this could be, he's got 1500 HP, so I'm not too concerned, okay, alright, so I know what I need to do, and that is, she needs to move forward quickly and heal up freaking Mao immediately, that is what needs to happen, alright, so now, 
I need to lift. I need to lift you out of there. That is what needs to happen. You get lifted, you get thrown. Okay. So now, if I can pick you up. If he could get there, that would be nice. So that way I could probably I could probably run him over there, throw this straight south, and then throw someone else over there. Hmm. Interesting. 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 Okay. Where can he get to? Hmm. One, two, three, four. I sort of want to try to move. Okay, first things first. Okay, now. I could throw Bubba over here and have him run over here and toss down there. That is kind of what I want to do right now. Alright, so we'll have him go over here. We'll move him over here. We'll pick up this geo block. We will have him throw this geo block right here. Okay. So now, will this be right next to it? Yes, it will. Okay. So I can probably pick up two characters. And you know what? I think we'll leave Mao over here to deal with these guys. Yeah, I think that's what we're done to do, and then we'll move Elmaz over here and have him pick that up, and then we'll have him pick up Prince Oro. Yes! Strategizing! Strategizing there, guys! There we go. Alright, time to die, bitches. There you go. Nice and hurt. Okay. So, he's hurt. Okay. I need to get Snack up here. He needs to help out the... Oh, I want to move. That... I don't know why that does that to me all the time. Okay, that... Okay, execute. And... Ooh, that kind of hurt, didn't it? Ooh, there we go. Level 39. Mao. Nice. Bitch, come on. Feather ring. That kind of hurt. Oh, no. Laharl's getting beat up on. Well, there goes Laharl. They don't move. That's kind of helpful. Well, you know what? We'll just we'll just kind of uh, make sure you know you you take a blazing fall just because you're being mean towards me. And ooh, 166. Not what I wanted, but you know what? Well, I mean, you got 17 health, we'll kill you. Goodbye, friend. Boom. Alright, so now we can, we can sort of be more uh, conservative and approach these guys slower. You know, I had to approach them quickly or they would level up way too fast. And then I would be dead. And you don't want to die in this, y'all. You know, it would be good. Alright, so we need to bring up rain. We're gonna throw rain over here. I think what we'll do is I'm gonna toss rain into a position, hopefully, where she can hit one of these guys with some magic. Yeah, let's hit you with some magic. She needs some levels. There we go. Level 30. Perfect. Yeah, she needs a lot of levels. I, I think that might be what I do. He's 33, 32, 31, 32, 36, 32. Yeah, still, I'm gonna still move forward with my characters, you know. I'm not gonna leave it all to rain, but, you know, sort of, sort of make their life miserable. Hi, buddies! Ooh, that kinda injured ya. There we go, that was easy. So white dragons can now be created. No, I don't want to skip the story. How is it, Mal? Are you stronger? Mm, I feel slightly, somewhat maybe a little stronger, but it's nowhere near close to what I need. However, if I continue to beat them, I should become stronger, according to my calculations. Let me guess. Mr. Jeffrey told you. 
Oh, your subconscious seems to have dropped something. Is this a book? Oh, I have that comic too. I remember seeing it in Mao's room. Huh, let's see. What kind of comic is it? Damn it, Dad! You had to have done that on purpose! How many times must he break my game? How will I exact vengeance for my blood, sweat, tears, and four million hours? Hey there. Can I talk to you for a sec? Do you live in this house? Huh? Who are you? Ah, that face. That look. I've seen you before. I see, so it's finally Dad's turn. I thought you might be coming to defeat him soon. Oh, so you're the son of the Overlord. But you knew me just by looking at my face. <laughs> Don't underestimate me. I will one day rule the Netherworld. I am devoted to various research. Of course, I did my research on you. I have everything that relates to you. Games, comics, you name it. <laughs> well, I'm honored. Now listen carefully. My dream is to become a great overlord who can one day fight a rival like you. And I will defeat him after a deadly battle, and then the evil world will prosper forever. But before that... Yes? Can I have your autograph? <laughs> a simple request, my little friend. How's this? Whoa! Do you always carry around paper and a marker? You're well prepared. All right, then. In return, I'll tell you where my dad is. Thank you. I'm sure this will be my last adventure. I would love to bathe in the glory. Last? As far as I know, your father is the strongest overlord. That's right. You've got a keen eye for power. Which means my task is over after this. I can finally welcome some rest. I see. So you're finally retiring. All right, then. I'll tell you my dad's weak points. I really want to teach my dad a lesson. I'll help you out. Oh? But in exchange, promise me. Here, come closer. And then... That's it. Got it? Is it a promise? All right. I promise. You're already a friend of mine, and friends never betray each other. <laughs> friends, huh? Oh, do you like that? Who'd like that, ever? Demons must relish solitude. Oh, is that so? They're oaths of a demon that I came up with. I will one day stand at the top of all demons. I see. Then good luck to you. You can do it. One day, you'll be a great overlord. Who was that, Mal? Didn't look like anyone I know. I don't know. You don't know? But wasn't that your own memory? Must have been a subconscious. I don't know. Could that have been... Wait, but could it be? Could it be what? Don't tease us. Just say it. Oh, sorry. That man, it might have been... You don't have to say it. I said it was a subconscious. We're supposed to get rid of him. We don't have time to chat. Hmm. That shadow, could it be? So it was he who cast this dark shadow into Mao's heart. Alright, so next episode, will we find out who the masked man is? The masked man? Uh, more like the, uh, more like the shadow man. We'll find out next time. See you guys then, peace!